Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I'm pretty excited. I've got the Rockform, Rock Shield version 3, I believe this one is. Yeah, the Rock Shield version 3 for iPad mini, these cost $59 exactly. They're available at rockform.com. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know I've had a few of their accessories and I've been generally quite impressed. Not just by their protective qualities, but also because they've come up with some fairly innovative ways to build in stands and to mount your iPad onto things like fridges or have it on your bedstand. Now, as with all rock form cases, you see, let's just get this out of the box here. You'll see that it comes with this, um, this dock in the back. This is essentially something that you'll find on all their cases and it will attach to a variety of different attachments. Um, so you've got with the packaging you've got this adhesive mount you can stick this onto your bed or you can screw it on if you don't want to trust the 3M glue that's in there, the adhesive in there you can use screws instead um, so that will then clip into here and if you have that on your bedside or if you have it on a wall somewhere as a wall mount you can have your iPad on there at any time and also with this version they've actually come with a really nifty kickstand which uses the same mechanism to lock into the case so you will lock your iPad in either horizontal or vertical mode and you simply get your kickstand out and you've got that at an angle like so but let's take that off for a second we'll get the iPad mini in once we have had a look at what else is inside here So a really easy get started guide to show you how to attach it, how to get it all working and make sure that you don't break it while taking it apart. Do read those because there are, I mean although it's a very sturdy case you don't want to ruin it by getting it wrong so have a look through that if you do buy one of these obviously make sure you read through those. Inside the packaging you get this screen protector which you can choose to apply or not depending on how comfortable you feel about your iPad getting scratched. Uh, you may already have one. Uh, it also comes with the eye cloth. This is just to get your your screen clean before you have placed your screen protector on. And obviously, with the screen protector kit, you get a card, squeegee, and a microfiber cloth. Um, now, the case itself is essentially made up of a few different parts. Now, on the outside, we have this protective bumper, uh, which you can remove. It's quite a stiff material. It's not. Uh, the soft silicone type that you may find on, on less protective cases and they come in a variety of colours. I believe the case comes in about seven different varieties. You've got black plus uh, gunmetal blue red. Um, you've also, they do an aqua coloured case that comes with a, with a blue stand or white and then there's white and pink as well. Um, but like all the other stands, or the, uh, the larger iPad one, you open it up in two parts like this and once it's actually clicked onto your iPad, those are actually very sturdy. Um, if you want to, there, are, there is a maglock kit, which this doesn't come with, you have to buy that separately, where you essentially put magnets inside here and you can attach it to your fridge using the magnets, but this doesn't actually come with those. But the feet, nevertheless, are designed to be very grippy so you can have it on a surface and know that it's not going to slide around. So, I'm going to grab my iPad and we'll get it inside the case and we'll have a look at this in more detail just to show you how the case fits and looks on your iPad mini. So the iPad needs to slide into the bottom half first. You just slide it in like so. Now if you're confused about which the bottom half is, simply the one with the three cutouts for the lightning port and the speakers there. You can see those or you can see it's got the rock form branding on the bottom part there. And then you just slide in the top one as well. And once those are in place, you should hear a gentle click. Not loud at all. And that's that on your iPad. Now, as I said, you have got a bumper and you can install that or choose not to. Entirely up to your personal preference. I, I feel like it definitely adds another element of protection. So I'll certainly be placing it on here just for the case of this video. Getting it on and off the case isn't actually as hard as you'd expect it to be and it does add a couple of millimetres on there. Now, all in all, it adds about an extra pound of weight roughly to your iPad, but it is very protective. You'll see, if we have a look around the case, you can see 
You've got your volume buttons are covered, but your mute switch is exposed, so you can get access to that quite easily. But there's adequate protection in there, so you know you're not going to get your mute switch damaged in any way. Um, those are very easily pressable. The home button, the lock button, sorry, is easily clickable as well. There's a gap for the microphone and for your headset jack, again, with plenty of room there for protection so that it's not easily damageable. And like I showed you, there are cutouts on the bottom edge as well. Everything else is covered, and that's that on your iPad. And like I said, this does come with a kickstand, and you can have that in portrait or landscape. So if you want it in landscape, simply like this, you put the stand out and you've got quite a nice angle there for viewing. It does actually, I believe, it's more than one angle that it does. So like I showed you, that you've got an angle there where you can view videos, etc. If you want to browse the web and you need a little bit more of an angle so you can actually interact with the screen, you can put it up like so. And you've got a slightly narrower angle. You can see that it's very versatile but still very, very sturdy. Um, and obviously you've got the same, you can have, you can have a typing angle like so by folding it a different way. And again, those angles are the same if you've got it in portrait mode as well. So, if you click it into place like that, then again you've got a good angle for viewing the web in portrait. Or if you do like so, again, another angle, slightly narrower. So in the end, what we've got here with the Rockform Rock Shield for iPad Mini is something that's incredibly protective, but it's also really, really versatile because of this kickstand and because of the mount that you get that you can attach it to various things and mount it onto the wall. It really is a fantastic looking case, and considering it only costs $60, um, you do get an incredible amount of value for money. Uh, it's certainly one I'm looking forward to using in more detail and I'll let you know how it goes. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at TIP underscore cam. Ask me anything you want on there and also, as always, leave your comments in the comment section below and I will see you again soon.